Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm me. And I'm Dally, and we are watching the rest of June part two. So it, as we're, we're recording this, um, we don't actually know whether or not we're going to want to divide this into two parts. It really depends how the movie goes and what we think would be the best way to do it, but we thought... Mm -hmm. Give ourselves the option. Yeah, so if you're watching this, I guess we did decide to do we it did. two parts. Yes. So. so, hi. Hello, everybody, and welcome <laughs> to part two. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed part one. And... If you haven't watched part one, go and watch part yeah, one. Yeah, that would be it. it would be foolish to watch part two before part one. That's silly. Also, watch June part one, and then watch June part two part one, and then watch June part two part two. Let's not waste your time. You no. can get back into it. Here is part two. Look at him, he's hopeless. He's family. <laughs> <laughs> June doesn't have many funny moments. <laughs> no, that was almost slapstick too. Yeah. <laughs> so war is coming. What will you do when you feel its breath upon your neck? It's true. I mean, what happens when the emperor finds out he's alive? But it's good that he's um, aware of it and he's trying to resist. And here I am. I know where your father hid the family atomics. No, no, no. Every house possesses an atomic arsenal. Him putting that away earlier, was that be him being like, I'm Putting the Atreides gonna, thing away. I'm gonna just... Commit to Fremen. Yeah. Now he's looking at it again. Mm -hmm. I could aim the bombs at the main spice fields. He who can destroy a thing has the real control of it. So you can control it and not us. You promised me you didn't want power. No matter what I do, you still don't trust me. I'm not a foreigner. Not to me, but to the desert you are. My allegiance is to you. To the Fremen. Do you believe me? I'll talk this stuff. I like her skepticism, do you know? She's right to be skeptical. Yeah, and she um, could easily encourage him. Mm -hmm. And she's not. She's worried. Mm -hmm. It's right under everybody's noses. Nobody would ever look in there because it's obvious. <laughs> That's where they are. Not clever. <laughs> I find it, I do the look for it. Enough to blow up the whole planet. Jesus. Yeah, they don't like the that. figure of speech. Is it? Presumably it means to blow up all the infrastructure on the planet. To pretty much destroy the planet. I mean, if atomic like, bombs think, work think, the same way in I the future... I think feature... he means the infrastructure of it, though. That was so cool. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. All of the little details are just... Oh, it's moving. We saw one of those at the yeah. start of the first one, When he was we? going to get tested by the Bene Gesserit yeah. one, wasn't it? With Trady's family's atomic warheads. 92. 92. That is power. These are barren, burnt lands. Nothing can live there without faith, which is why our Bene Gesserit missionaries have been so productive there. Mm. Mm. Receiving reports of a mysterious figure taking grip, a new Reverend Mother from the North, with religious fervor rising in the South, and Wadib strangling spice production in the North. Everything points to the escalation of war. Faith is stronger than ever. Yeah. Which is a, the other most important part, right? Mm-hmm. Is that a baby sandworm? Looks like it. Oh, oh, oh. She probably does. The Bene Gesserit can like see. Yeah. Not communicate with their ancestors, but like see them and stuff, I think. So. I wonder what it'd do damage to you. Still probably pretty big, even at this age. Surely. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, is that that, uh, that's the water? Doesn't like the water. She's tried it. Hardly. What? Oh, no, still alive. So it opens up its mouth in the water. Yeah. See all the teeth came back there? Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's the blue, st the poison. They're extracting that. It's like a sandworm venom or yeah. something. Soon a man is going to visit your temple and he may want you to perform the rites. But the authority... Let him try. 
That is so creepy when they do that voice. <laughs> An atomic bomb. Ah! So that was one of his possible features. What the f was that on her? Uh oh. Oh my god! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We saw it right before it happened! No. Or something different? <gasps> I don't understand. That's not what we saw in the vision. <gasps> oh no! He did! The f destroyed it! Oh no! We're literally melting rock on their heads. Lord, I would recommend you stay inside those. Bring his body to my quarters. What the? F my poor is darlings so are hungry. <laughs> my poor darlings are hungry. What are you doing here? They're cannibals. You humiliated our family. You humiliated me. Or die. Holy shit. He is so good. Didn't the Bene Gesserit woman say the way of manipulating him was humiliation? But that was him enjoying humiliation. Ah, like, but I thought they meant like... Humiliating, humiliating him. him. Okay, yeah. I possibly, get you I possibly. Get you yeah, because I felt like uh, the smallest he looked when, was when he was with the Bene Gesserit woman, actually. Mm -hmm. Didn't mm -hmm. he? He looked a bit pathetic for, yeah. a, bit, for a minute. <laughs> It's too late now, he's going south. I mean, look. Your actions are your choice. You know? Ursul. In the south, only leaders are allowed to speak. He must take my place. He needs to kill him to take his place. We need the Lissangal Gaib to lead our people. You know, no! I, think that's so long. I don't care what you believe, I believe. You can't kill him. But he believes in it so strongly, he doesn't care. Yeah. I'm moving everyone to the south. I'll stay behind and cover your retreat. What are you talking about? Nobody stays but me. Paul. That's an order! Gurney Halleck, go south! That voice. It's a matter of time before it controls someone again. He doesn't want to go. He's afraid of the fundamentalists. But he's really, he's not afraid of that. He's not afraid of them. He's afraid of himself mm. and what it's going to do to him. What he'll become. He clearly believes that he does not have the self-control to resist. Mm -hmm. Which is quite sad. <sighs> Connecting himself to it again. Talk to me, Thomas. We sat sad around. To unlock your mind, you need to drink the water of life. Sort of messed your mommy up, though. He needs to see. As far as he can see. It's Thomas. You need to see. God. Yeah. Oh my God, he's really. If I go south, I might lose you. You will never lose me, Paul Atreides. We'll cross the storm, Zidia. Go south. And then I will do what must be done. Oh dear. That moment was amazing. My left behind. No trace of the others. The north is liberated and secured. Harvest spice at will. No. You kill nine of my men with one single blade. Nice. She won't talk. Good on you. Only pleasure remains. I don't. I don't want to know. He's so sort of pretty know. psychotic. Oh That's so god. cool. Oh my god. Look yeah. At the, yeah. The wow. worms are in formation. I mean, look, that is. That is power. Yeah. That is. Like, who can do that? Who can write. Like, what people could do that? Paul, in that moment, his emotion felt so real. It was mm. nearly like he, he knows that that's his fate and there's nothing he can do about yeah, he's it. he's trapped by and it now, it's, nearly. It's, it's breaking him because yeah. he knows. And I believe it. He looks it. different even already. Yeah. It was really moving. I'm still getting upset about it. 
What did they say in the first movie? Paul Atreides must die for the. Because that's. Something. The to arise. I feel like we've been seeing a slow death to Paul Atreides. Which. I feel like I will mourn him. That seems like it might have been the final blow. <gasps> Is this. The ancestors. said in the last movie they were going to dig down deep enough to release the water. Remember? And yeah. then... My brother. My dearest brother. <gasps> oh! That's her! So she's, she's no, his it sister. Hurt you too. To the core. Don't worry. I'm with you. I love you. Crazy how I wouldn't know. Vision about her sister that's not even born yet. Oh my god. Well, suppose if you can... Going yeah. through ancestry works both ways, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, she's so f***ing cool. I mean, I know she's like... Scary, but cool. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Those two things often overlap. Exactly. Oh, dear. What happened? What happened? He's dead. He's dead. What? His vital signs are so low they can't be detected. But he's alive. No, yeah. What did you do to him? Truly, sir, I can him. Who the fuck? A German killer has already a... Die, Hashlik! You did this to him. You did this to your own son! You do it! Fix it yourself! You might not believe in the prophecy, but you're a part of it. You're the poison. You and your lies. That's <laughs> right. <gasps> What is she doing? What does she I have to do? Yeah. Her tears. That's her name, Desert Spring, yeah. wasn't it? Sad, sad eye, climb up this is the last one. I said, isn't it? He's gone. It's done. Thanks to you. <gasps> yeah, for. I'm sorry about Johnny. She'll come to understand. I've seen it. Our enemies are all around us. And in so many futures, they prevail. It's kind of the three I ideas. Seen away. Mm. There is a narrow way through. I saw our bloodline, Mother. <gasps> that must be the sister, is it? What? You are the daughter of Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. No! What? His mom. My father, no. Does she know? I didn't know myself until I took the worm's poison. He was gonna kill her. Yeah. What? We're Harkonnen. Yeah, they're. He's oh! Harkonnen. Oh, he's Harkonnen and Atreides. And Atreides. So this is how we'll survive. By being Harkonnens. What? <laughs> what the? F is this a rock? Yeah, this is Arrakis. Where's this the sand? Is this, is, this, is this like some sort of capital ah. in the south? Or is this where the, yes. the, the leaders are made? Oh my god, was that a f***ing sandworm jumping up behind him? Holy sweet f***ing god, this is so good. <laughs> this is everything I wanted from this movie. I wanted him to go this way. I'm yeah. so glad this is happening. We must talk. Still car? She's the only she one who realized. It's really good to have a character that sees through the bullshit, you know? Still car, please. His former 
partner is going to be like the rebel against him. I don't even think like a messiah exists. It's this all just. Is how they enslave yeah. Us. yeah. How they exactly. Dominate. Raban Harkonnen himself killed my family. This is all of my business. I was thinking earlier, um, in the last movie, Leto said to her to think of him as a mother first and not as Bene Gesserit, you know? Yes, that's right. She did exactly the opposite in a way. You must take his place by defeating him and returning his water to the well. You think I'm stupid enough to deprive myself of the best of us? Vidurakdin biwagzama! Take my life, Uzul. It is the only way. I'm pointing the way! Udalasot! Udal fezihi! Kumuni! Kaubakakali kakari! Chelsea, <laughs> 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 This is my father's ducal signet. He's Where's Atreides again? I am Paul Mwadim Atreides, Duke of Arrakis! Elisa Nalgaim! Ruin Bimelaru! Ashidi! Elisa Nalgaim! Yeah, girl. He sent this to the emperor. With the Atreides. That's engraved on that. Paul Atreides is still alive. The Kwisatz Haderach is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. We have supervised House Atreides. They were becoming dangerously defiant. Their bloodline had to be terminated. And if he defeats Fade Rother, my father. Your father will lose the throne no matter who prevails. But there is one way your family can remain in power. You've been preparing me my whole life, Reverend Mother. <gasps> Paul didn't have a choice, child. I won't be fighting for him. I'm fighting for my people. Like some guy comes from, he's not even one of their people. And just like what takes over and they all just, well, like white savior mm. kind of thing. Mm. Well, the emperor is very obliging. It's right on time. Afshil al Oh. What is he doing here? I brought spice production under control. Send messages to the great houses. Tell that the future hangs in the balance. Gurney will open the way for you, Stilgar. Johnny, I want you and your Fedaikin to then attack from the east. I'll strike from the north, head on. Remember, I need the Emperor alive. She always has that blue bandana. She does. Oh no. Why did they need to give her something that we could notice from afar? Mm. Her outfits are so cool. Look at that. What? That's so wow. crazy. He likes her. Is this like a proposal? Oh, so they, yeah. Do you have any idea who this Muad'Dib could be? He's a madman. Mad? All Fremen are mad. Muad'Dib is dead. Your Majesty. Baron, have you ever investigated the South? The entire region is uninhabitable. Exhibits evidence <laughs> of human activity. Yeah. I wasn't aware How of did they never figure that out? I swear to you, I wasn't aware of any of this. Oh! <gasps> ah! I mean, yeah, go I mean, for I'm it. Not He's I'm not disgusting. I'm not unhappy with this oh. at all, but he didn't die. No. But to see him kind of taken down a peg is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Because his aim is for his nephew to be emperor, right? Yeah. Caught on in some worms. <gasps> We've seen this! So these are some atomic weapons. Oh my. 
surely. We are they all? Whoa. Ah, ah. Oh my god. This is what we saw. This is what he saw in the tent. Mm -hmm. This now already. Yeah. The bodies were piled. My God! Oh wow, that's incredible. It's supposed to be a thing. <laughs> Here he comes now with the full frontal assault. Love her so. <laughs> He's trying to climb to the throne. I feel like Austin Butler's got a different scheme here. I uh, I can't see him not not making it out. This is so cool. Oh my god, they're face to face. This is crazy. This is f***ing crazy, guys. Oh my god, all these characters in the same room is insane. He's going for this. He's going for this. He's going for this. Sorry. He's gonna kill this by first, though. And not a moment too soon. Wow. I wanted him to sit on the throne a bit. That's his game though, that's right? That, that's that capital city now, they're destroying it. See, but it gets to a point where... What's left then? Right now they're trying to take back their country, their planet, but... What happens when he makes his way up to that seat on the throne? When he tries to conquer the entire... Yes, this is the one we one we needed. Look who's back from the dead. Is that it? We got him! For my duke and my friends. Yeah. Wow. Very good. Pile the bodies high. Not a very um Victorious image, really. No. And they just left his body to the desert. Warships. Great houses. Gur needs time. That's right. Um, My Lord. The Baron said to contact the other. I want to understand how much of himself is still there. You know? Well, we'll see now when he talks to her. This isn't over yet. I want you to know, I will love you as long as I breathe. How can you be so sure the great houses are here for me? They may be curious to hear my side of the story, don't you think? I am Paul Atreides, son of Leto Atreides, Duke of Arrakis. The great houses attack. Our atomics will obliterate all spice fields. Consider what you're about to do, Paul Atreides. Silence! <gasps> To the <gasps> the public. He just used the voice on her, like. 
will take the hand of your daughter. Ah! <gasps> and we will rule together over the Empire. Honestly, I think you're better off without him, girl. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's not himself anymore. No. He's already gone. Oh, wow. She's angry, though. Do you know why I killed him? He was a man who believed in the rules of the heart. Yeah. But the heart is not meant to rule. Your father was a weak man. Stand or choose your champion. I'm here, Atreides. <gasps> 1v1. A this jewel. is very interesting. Let me deal with him. It's my burden. He said to everybody that no one can take him. Man, what is that? It's the Emperor's knife, isn't it? Why does he take such risks? Muad'Dib leads the way. It's the knife she gave him. Mm. I'm happy to finally meet you. Cousin? <laughs> Cousin? Yeah. Is that right? You wouldn't be the first relative I've killed. God, yeah, his mom. May thy knife chip <gasps> and shatter. Java said that last time. He did. May thy knife chip and shatter. The choreography is unbelievable. This is so fast. He's good. Surely he's seen. She's your pet. They both just got so injured in such a quick fight. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> Wait, what? Chose the wrong side. There are no sides, Reverend Mother. The life debt has been paid. Spare my father now, and I will be your willing bride. The throne will be yours. She's smart. <gasps> Kiss sad. Kiss. God love her. She doesn't want to buy. She doesn't believe in this. No. I feel, like she's, I feel like she's our, the viewer's she's, moral compass. She, yeah, she's potentially the real hero of the story. Don't get me excited. The great houses have answered. They refuse to honor your ascendancy. We await your orders. Is that not good? Wow. Lead them to paradise. Go. Oh. She's a 
alone. She's lost her whole people to him. So, right, why don't we just talk about Paul, I guess, Okay. to start with. He's done He's done the good bit. Now he's going to go and do the bad bit, mm. isn't he? Exa yes, that's what it... Because it's a conflicting feeling, right? You hear of this holy war mm -hmm. and how horrible it looks. Yeah. But in terms of what they're doing, in terms of getting taking their planet back mm -hmm. and stuff... Taking the planet back to the Fremen was a good thing. It was a good thing. Yeah. And also the people and really, were really, pretty bad people. Getting rid of the Harkonnens and all that. They're, yeah... All good. I mean, to extinguish an entire world, no. no. Now, those individual characters were pretty bad. Yeah, but I suppose that. But they like, would argue they're not getting rid of the entire world. They're getting yeah, rid oh, of the yeah. Harkonnens' power. Yeah, but that's what they're going to be doing next. No, now they're going to go and take on like every other house yeah. in the universe. You're not evil because you're Harkonnen. No, you know what I mean. No, I can't fully tell like what Paul's thinking. Do you no, know what I mean? not it's since he's not since he read. took that potion thing. I'd say when you're reading the book, it's a lot clearer what's exactly going on in his head and how much of him is like still him. I know. I wonder if because it, it felt like our perspective changed from Paul to Chani when he took the potion. Yes, actually. I wonder oh if that God. happened in the book. That's such a good observation. That's so true. Because oh it feels like now we're seeing the story from her lens rather than Which, from his. Such a good character. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I, I, di I didn't know what to expect of her, but she just, because she was so not present in the last mm. one, I was like, I can't wait to see her and see, like, what, see she's what she's about. about. Yeah. She's so good. She's, she's the only one that sees through. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I feel like she's like our moral compass. Yeah. Nearly. Like, it's so hard. There's so much going on in here, and there's kind of bad on all sides. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to, like, you know, like when he was fighting um, Fade. Mm -hmm. it's like whose side are you on yeah, really? yeah like yeah. obviously you're on Paul's side yeah. but like it's not exactly as bad as he is probably the Harkin guy would be a worse yeah. emperor but you know there's grey everywhere yeah, yeah, yeah. whereas with her there's actually none mm -hmm. it, as far as I can tell mm -hmm. and I hope that wasn't like an end to her story like a no, she's out of this now. I feel like I she's it, gonna right? oppose him from I hope so but like from with, Arrakis with what army you know what yeah, I mean she's, like well, exactly. He has like the whole friggin'. She needs to win the hearts and minds of some people first, doesn't she? did say she has her name. She's named after a prophecy and she was part of the prophecy. Not yeah. The prophecy. It was hinted that oh, that was her fulfilling the prophecy it, when it she was. gave him the tear, but maybe there's more to it. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Oh, Zendaya, girl. Oh, oh. my God. Yeah, so yeah, but what I was thinking with Paul was like, it's nearly like. Right, so there's not actually magic in this world. No. So this prophecy, I think that that's just a form of like manipulation by the Bene Gesserit, right? So it's just like, yes. it's just like a make people believe it. Though they also can sort of foresee things, can't they? Yeah, so but I do think that that is, I think some people left some comments to explain like the Bene Gesserit are kind of like, imagine what the human mind could achieve mm -hmm. if it had millions of years of training. Yeah. So it's just, it's, it's everything they're doing isn't technically magical. Mm -hmm. It's just like harnessing yeah. the full ability of your mind. And so that makes me think that ancestral stuff now, maybe I'm wrong and it is actually like kind of magic, but it, could it almost be like an insane level of, of, of like, per, like odds seeing, of guessing yes. the odds of yeah, 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 probability yeah, yeah. exactly yes yeah. like seeing the future you're not actually no seeing... you're just reading probabilities yeah and and probably playing the odds both ways as well as what do you know what do. i mean yeah. yes it's so i don't i i my brother tried to tell me a bit about it but it was weeks ago and yeah. i can't really remember it's like, we got some it's, comments it's like looking like that. almost looking at likely outcomes yeah looking at them all and sort of yeah. Hedging their bets then. Yeah. Yeah. So with that logic, right? And then trying to move things in, subtly in that direction as well. Exactly. So with that logic, the... Why the fuck? Kwisatz Haderach. Yes. 
is not a mystical, magical no. game. He, you know, it's just a story yeah. about someone But there that... is something, because it's about like the first male that would have their power. Yes. So this is what we kind of learned before we watched this movie. Um, something like, I think, Bene Gesserit, women can access yeah. the ancestral line. Mm-hmm. But, but this man too. would be able to, but also both sides. Yeah, because he can see the future women. and the past. No, I think they can too, but it's like they can only see the women in their line. Yes, but he can see both he sides. Can see yeah. both. Hence or he's least, seeing a sister. Or at least this person, because that's Hadarak, will be able to do that and yeah. will like lead them into the future, whatever the hell it, they it want does to seem, do. It does seem to be the case. But the thing is, surely that ability is just something any man can learn. He, he was just taught it. He wasn't born magically. He was from the line that was being selectively bred. Oh, yeah, because of what they said about the yeah, bargaining and stuff. It, it wasn't, said, yes, it wasn't right, meant actually. to be this generation. But he yes, in, in his line, right. there was meant to be a future generation. You're right, you're right. So do, does that imply then that any person couldn't? Yeah, I think so. Or at so. least that any person wouldn't fit or, the... Or that it would be harder. Yeah, that implies and there's like a biological yeah. nature to it because mm-hmm. you're talking about ancestors here too so, so in order to have the Bene Gener- you have to have that Bene Gesserit ancestry yes. same with uh, uh, Fade mm-hmm. he would have had it too yeah. right the Harkonnen mm-hmm. oh my god that's so cool that's so cool what was the purpose of like this messiah for the for the Bene Gesserit like they, they, they had a goal for him though like something he was going to do and I don't know what yeah. was it to like expand space or like expand he was going to do something impossible seemingly wasn't it yeah expand help them expand into the universe or yeah. something at the minute he's just kind of destroying everything well he hasn't destroyed anything no, yet but he's, he's, he's planning to yeah the change in his character from me went into yeah. to that like it's, in, it's ter- mm. like terrible to see <laughs> like it's yeah. like like because we were saying there's not really magic in mm. this world it's not like he magically became a different person no. So it's, it's nearly just like it let he started to let the influence in more. But it's also because he had he took that the yeah. thing which meant he gained that ability the same way his mother did to see. Because I thought that that was something Bene Gesserit could just already do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe there's you know, something. No, but the she could she could do it beforehand, surely, before she done that. But it's just like enhanced it. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. You know. Because like surely all the Bene Gesserit don't drink that. Whereas that, for him, of... it seems to have given him the power because he didn't have it beforehand. Maybe, yeah. Sparse sort of visions from I mean, space, but they weren't maybe. anyway coherent. Yes. And he was also not leaning into it. Since taking the poison, he's like, no, there's, it, it's, he keeps talking about what must be done. Um, we already talked to it about Chani, didn't we? Yeah. We, we like it's more, her. for her, it's more about where she's going next rather than what she's done. Like it's more what came after whenever he oh, went down absolutely. that road. She sort of went, I'm not doing this with yeah. you. And she's now, I, like, it looks like she's going to be the one to oppose him. I would, uh, that would be extremely that, interesting. She's, because she's about the only character that isn't just swept up with it. Exactly, yes. You know, and everyone, yeah, else, everyone else who was yeah. as well, like her, has now kind of given and, in. And perhaps she'll bring more than back. Yeah, on side, I'm sure but that's right not now, everyone gone with him. You know what I mean? But right, like she was warriors. literally alone at the end. There. Yeah, but surely there'll be other sieges that aren't. Yeah, maybe there'll be people who aren't but warriors. That, 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 surely... that thing that came together that seemed to be like most of the fremen. It did, it did. But I, you know, I'm just saying there's probably someone. Out Might there, be some surely. sort of enclave that that. Hopefully, maybe. it's a big planet. Sure, yeah. you haven't got everybody. But but I suppose if you've been under the thumb of the Harkonnens for centuries, or I don't know how long mm. ago, but you would all feel very passionate. You've you've just had a leader that's come in and f- like liberated the planet. Mm. I, I suppose you'd you'd be sympathetic to that leader. Mm. Absolutely, you know, and a leader from a different and leader from from not even a Fremen no. version, which is kind of makes it all seem darker, doesn't it? Mm. it nearly, it feels like someone's coming in and conquering them and controlling them yeah in a different in a different way like oh i'll free you i'll free oh yes he's kind of like he's coming in here Mm -hmm. and he's gonna free them he's he's, gonna liberate them because he's 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 adopting their culture yeah he's he's assimilating their culture and then using them to his own end yeah so he did that thing to kind of help them and now they adore him and then he has them can use them where he wants them exactly they'll be loyal to him forever now they're freedom yeah if, or sorry, he's, he's free. He's given them what what everything they've ever wanted. A messiah. Yeah. Who's like who's not, not a good the good messiah. guy? Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. I he's, mean, look, if we are reading this wrong and he's supposed to be the good guy, then sorry. But, yeah, but that's not the vibe <laughs> we're getting here. Like, 
Um, no, but the visions he's been having about how it's yeah, he didn't want to he, become he knew himself. This messiah and he knew himself, and, yeah. and that's the thing that while we're on this topic, actually, the scene between um, Paul and Chani right before he decided to go south mm-hmm. when he was crying, yeah, that was such a brilliant scene. It was one of my favorite moments of the whole film. Mm-hmm. That was that I felt like that was Paul. That was, was the last, it was like he was his saying, last moments, really. Yeah, it was yeah. like he he was. Not necessarily switching or changing, but no, like no, but his deciding. Last, and his last, yeah, his last moments where he was allowed to have hope of remaining Paul, almost, yeah. yeah. And and you know, at the start, we were, or at least maybe you were, I was a bit sceptical. I was like, I don't know how to read him. Like, no, is he faking That, that not? comment at the start, it yeah. seemed like he might already be trying to manipulate, the, but it then did seem like he genuinely just bought into the whole yeah, thing. I wanted I, to stay in North and just take the fight to the Harkin and through yeah, the Yeah, and we noticed he put the... Signet ring away, which away kind of yeah. symbolised maybe that he brought it back out. It wasn't really until that <clears> moment. <throat> well, it took a while, but around that moment, I was like, "Oh no, wait! Like this really has been Paul. Mm-hmm. Like that that is really Paul, and he, he is not this evil no person. He's just person. a normal no. boy, basically, yeah. who trying to do right, who doesn't want to do this, and who doesn't want to become this, mm-hmm. and." He's scared and he's heartbroken. And it was only it was when really the, the, the Harkonnen scene. then went and destroyed the, the siege. Yeah. That they forced his hand there. Yeah. If they hadn't done that. No. He probably yeah. wouldn't have gone south. No. When he pulled the ring back out. Yeah. And Gurney smiled. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. Aside at all, Gurney's a great character. He is. He's so cool. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's even purely motivated. He just he just wants he really wants revenge. Atreides to to rise again. True, but he's not a bit put off by this plan. No, you know, it doesn't no. seem like it anyway to me. Which yeah, but it's nearly like it's it's like what what true anger and the like need of revenge, mm-hmm. the lens that you'll go to when to which you now are worse than your enemy yeah, was. You're doing worse than they ever did. Like trying to yeah. liberate the Fremen is one thing, but to then. Take the war to, to all of to the other all houses. all who oppose you? Yeah. Too far. Yeah. But it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see necessarily no hope for Paul in no. the sense that, you know, re- like remorse with, or like at least some kind of redemption, but I just, I can't really ever see him coming back from this no, no, fully. No, no, And I think no. that this will be the end of him eventually. I feel like he's going to have to be now taken down a peg or two himself. And um, Rebecca Ferguson's character, Jessica. Yeah. She. She went weird early. She in this went movie. weird early. Yeah. Paul yeah. went weird a bit later. She yeah. went weird early. The more I got to know her last time, the more I liked her. She, she was a really good character in the last movie. This one, she was just weird and creepy. <laughs> <laughs> she no, she but she did bring a really interesting element yeah, to the absolutely. story. But it was kind of sad to mm-hmm. see her. But at the same time, she's Ben It's yeah. what she believes. That's, that's, that's... But last movie, I think because of the situation, we we, we nearly forgot she was. She was. She was more of the mother she and felt less. Like the mother. Yeah, less of the Bene Gesserit manipulator. But this time, you know that yeah. Bene Gesserit nature took over, and Paul knew it. Mm-hmm. This is all your fault. He would say, "Your people." He was just like awaiting the fate. He knew it all along. I just don't. I don't think he's in there anymore. No. No. No, know that moment with Chani yeah. at the end though made me feel like there's a part of him still in there yeah there probably is but it's like it's just overwhelmed with totally the ancestors been, and the kind of yeah. influence it's, it in probably his head and his visions and requires everything in him to even summon that little sentence yeah. that it's, it's Chani it's, yeah it's like there's a darkness tempting him and he just mm-hmm. has to let it take over yeah. and every it's, now and then something gets through but but it's just not it's not going to be enough I don't even know what other moments to even talk about. Um, Theod was so great. I am actually sad he's dead because Austin Butler is such a f-ing phenomenal actor. Though, yeah, like, he's such a cool character was that him? <laughs> Like actually, though, it was so impressive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it was really cool to introduce him and kind of give like oh, this is who it also could have been. Yeah, yeah. He was the he was the the other bet for the Bene Gesserit, wasn't? That's it? how we took it anyway. Yeah. yeah. And, and he was the, he was the one they preferred as well because he was controllable. <gasps> His his child, yeah. To yeah, Leia Sedu, yeah. Bloodline. That's the bloodline. Will no one Ooh. tell Paul, and he'll find out. Ooh. And we also saw a bit saw a bit of Anya Taylor Joy's character, mm-hmm. the Paul's sister, mm-hmm. future sister. 
Oh, that's gonna come in right? yeah. she, I mean it'll be a while since she's that old so. like, are we gonna change the actor for Paul if, if she's gonna be like <laughs> but yes the fact that she was like I love you Paul and stuff it was mm. like why like like as a what like is he what is, what is he, end? yeah what has he that, done that or, you love yeah. are you not great or, or yeah, yeah. what or that's is the other that side of it. I don't know do you just mm. love him because he's your brother I don't know what else is there I don't know there's lots oily guy's dead thank goodness so gross. Don't have to be creeped out by him anymore. Florence Pugh again. I wanted to see more of her. I love Florence mm-hmm. Pugh, so, but she was she's, very good. But like, we didn't get to see. She's much. another smart character, though. Yeah, like, she's very clever. Yeah, she's 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 not going to be easily controlled or manipulated. And she noticed Chani as well. Yeah, that was quite cool. It was a very cool moment. The mm-hmm. two women. I wonder, like, are and I don't f- women that have a big influence on. Yeah, the I, I wonder. I wonder what angle she'll take in the next one. Actually, yeah, it's hard to read what she thinks. Like, she is Bene Gesserit, though. She is Bene Gesserit, but. I can't see her going for this war of no, holy war, holy crusade type thing. She wanted to save her dad. She yeah. seems human. You know, yeah. she seems... And she she doesn't even seem that comfortable around the Bene Gesserit stuff. Very, very true. She seems more like a sort of I hope political we, actor. You know, I hope like, we get a Chani situation where we didn't get to see much of her in this one, mm-hmm. but next time we'll really get to oh, dive I do her. feel like we might. Because she's a great actress. Oh, yeah. So great. Yeah, sad to see Austin Butler go, though. Mm-hmm. He did his bit though. Love him. He's a good character. Just love him. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I am exhausted. Yes. That took so that much just, energy. Yeah. But like in the best way. And now I cannot wait to go see yeah. it in cinema. Like actually. <sighs> I don't think we've done anything like like those two movies no. together. No. Nothing. Never. Nothing that epic or that sort of mm-hmm. scale. Yeah. yeah. That was. <laughs> we're sorry we're like we're so just, yeah. speechless it was just so heads are, good heads have gone here like. I know like I just feel like during that film I zoned out I was like out of my body I was like not yeah. even yeah. I forgot where I was and what time it was and mm-hmm. it was just like amazing thank you so much for watching mm-hmm. if you came from the last day we really appreciate it um, hope you enjoyed this one if you have any information to share with us please do obviously spoiler free for the future of the story yeah because they've announced the third one haven't they they, they have it's that. like in development I think yeah. it's everything for me yeah you yeah. good yeah gonna yeah, go and have a lie down <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time see you later thank you bye, bye. <laughs>